Fortnite has a reputation for making streamers and personalities popular very fast. As long as you're entertaining and talented, you have a chance of becoming big, but some people stand out more than others. For clicks, that combination worked like a charm. He's qualified five times for the World Cup, making him a popular and dominant force in the competitive community. Aside from his crazy mechanical skills, Tfue just announced he will be trioing with Clix and Sway. I can see so much potential in this trio. They even got 7th place last event. Looking for your own wins and tournament placements? Check out Instapro to be connected to one of the best coaches in the game. Learn tips and tricks that will put you way ahead of the competition, easily. So what exactly makes Clix so dominant? His gameplay revolves around blazing fast maneuvers, and what I notice about Clix is that his movement is just so flawless. He doesn't mess his jumps up or get his angle movement wrong. He's able to capitalize on his opponent's mistakes and shut them down with little to no effort. Many players can brag about being good and creative, but when it comes to real games, that isn't the case. For Clix, he is the best of both worlds. He's a menace in World Cup tournaments and in creative. This, of course, leads to a great variety in his content as well. Clix has become a very compelling personality on Twitch. If you've ever watched his stream, you'll notice he's very outgoing and social. I'm not sure if any of you guys have watched these, but he's an absolute beast in wagers. He's 1v1 top names like Bugga, Tifu, Benji Fishy, and has beaten them with total ease. Clix runs wagers on a daily basis and is so confident in himself, he's willing to throw away fights and still wins. Today, we'll be assessing his creative gameplay to find out why Clix is the most decorated pro creative player there is. In this first clip, Clix is pitted up against another creative warrior named Zane. He dominates him with ease, displaying a very important skill we all need to learn, capitalizing on your enemy's mistakes. He builds up, waits for his opponent to make a move, and then counters with such precision it's insane. Check this out. Clix starts off with some 90s, and the type of 90s he does are of the fastest origin. As Clix goes up, his opponent blocks him with a ramp, but Clix isn't startled. Instead, he jumps to the side and catches himself with the floor. Then he double ramps in the enemy's direction. This causes his opponent to lose high ground. Okay, let's take a look at that one more time. Anybody else would have lost height after that ramp? I know I would have. Clix uses a famous technique many of the pros use. He uses floors and cones to block off possible entry points. Remember what we talked about in our turtling video. Placing cones and floors is a great way to retain height by preventing the enemy from building up. Now one of his key feats. Clix tracks his opponent with precision like no other. He's able to get an amazing pre-layering for a double down edit play. Notice how Clix builds instantly after he takes a shot. In the current meta, it's very common for players to hit their shots, so if you don't proactively build after you shoot, it could result in a trade shot. This is a common technique used by only the best of the best. Before breaking somebody's wall, place a rotated ramp on the side of it. That way, if the enemy edits, you can jump up and counter with the floor, or edit downwards for a surprise shot. Many of these high skill tactics are often overlooked. Now watch how he counters the enemy's move with a cone. We discussed at the start, Clix loves staying ahead of the enemy. It's the reason he wins so much. The enemy makes another foolish move here, not blocking his side, so Clix is able to hit him with a body shot. At this point, Clix stalks from above and waits for the opportunity to strike. Clix's edit play here is debatable. I mean, he expected to get a shot off, but the enemy had blocked himself off. This resulted in Clix losing height, as you'll see in a second. As Clix double edits, his opponent exposes himself yet again. Clix gets a nice body shot off and goes in for the kill. With the enemy on low health, Clix is going full aggressive mode trying to secure the kill. The enemy is on the run and he doesn't even bother fighting back. Like many top creative warriors, Clix is persistent with pressure as he builds. He always goes for chip damage. Chip damage is the most effective way to damage enemies while maintaining build momentum. At this point, Clix starts spraying with the drum gun, hoping to knock this guy down. He just keeps building. This enemy is literally the definition of an overbuilder. Clix decides to take a breather. He needs to reload his weapon and rethink his next move. Also, in many build fights, people don't know that faking an enemy out works very well in regaining height. When you stalk from below, most of the time the enemy will drop down. This gives you the right moment to make your push. So try many methods of faking your opponent out so you can get him to drop down. And that's exactly what he does here. Clix makes his push for the high ground as he confuses his opponent by doing a series of scissor ramp retakes. Clix then follows up with a 180 and cones the enemy while placing a ramp to block the enemy's high ground. Clix reclaims the high ground and is free to reign supreme. One habit which I admire is Clix's habit of proactive layering. He knows where the enemy is going to pop up and is already ready with floors and cones. This is where Clix ends the fight with an astonishing KO. His enemy makes a foolish move, building for height on a weak, unsupported structure. This makes it very easy for Clix to knock him down. Alright, watch very closely here. As Clix knocks his opponent down, he pans his camera upwards to make sure he won't get shot. 
Another one of Clix's really great habits is that he's able to keep track of height while he goes for the knockdown. As the enemy falls, he shoots, and there it is. So on to takeaways, guys. Out of all the impressive plays from Clix, what do we learn? Well, for one, Clix's use of proactive layering helps him incredibly while predicting enemy locations. It's also a great way to surprise your opponent and get a nice shot off. Always look to floor and cone off your opponents while you have the high ground. Trust me, it works. Number two, Clix is very versatile, and this allows him to capitalize on enemy mistakes. He glues his eyes onto them and counters just about every move they can do. He's so confident in himself, he sometimes literally gives high ground to the enemies and still ends up winning. Also, he stays one to two layers above them to give himself just enough time to react. Go for chip damage. Clix is always sneaking in those 30 damage shots, and even though they might not seem like much, it all adds up. In that last fight, we saw exactly how Clix deals with the average player. Clix has run hundreds of wagers over the past month and is well prepared for almost any scenario. So in order to assess his true skill, we're going to need to match him against a better opponent, somebody who can counter Clix's every move. And there's nobody better suited than Tifu himself. While Tifu isn't a crazy fast builder, he's still deadly accurate and he builds with a purpose. This makes him a formidable opponent for Clix. Clix starts off with the usual, very fast 90s paired with a side jump retake. I notice this tactic always gives him high ground over most opponents. If you take a look at how he performs the jump, he's able to get one layer above the average ramp layer. After that, he dishes out some more 90s and gets high ground than our fellow Tifu. Clix stalks from above, but instead of going for the casual drop down aggressive play, Clix strafes. Tifu goes for a jump shot, building right after. From here, we can see that he knows what he's doing. Clix strays from his usual edits because he knows Tifu has lethal shots. He isn't going to jump on Tifu because the fight could go either way, so he needs to play the high ground game. Clix decides to go for a double down edit. In response, Tifu pulls back and seals himself off. I'm sure you can tell by now, Clix isn't having an easy time countering Tifu. This fight is a matchup against two professional players. This isn't fun in games. Clix keeps his distance and goes for height as he sees Tifu making a rush for it. Tifu is well aware of Clix's playstyle, and that's why he's playing very cautiously too. Clix goes for a trade shot after getting edited on, and they both take heavy damage. Except Tifu hit Clix harder, which should give you some insight on why Tifu is who he is. Clix reacts by building for height. He wants to gain an advantage. One important tip I'd like to point out is that Tifu, for the most part, is controlling the fight from low ground. Clix isn't as confident as he was with the other player. He can't drop down and do a bunch of fancy edits because Tifu is aware of what move he will make. Most creative fights come down to who has better positioning and movement, combined with building skills. These fights are a good example of why it's crucial to make the right call. Clix started off by going for an aggressive wall replace and got edited on. He took substantial damage, and although he did get some trade damage off, he knows he has a health pool which doesn't offer him as much availability. What do I mean? He's not going to attempt any dangerous plays because he knows one good shot could end him. This is where Clix goes on the defense. Tifu's shot is so accurate, he leaves Clix with 14 HP. Clix could have killed him from above, but he missed his shot. With Tifu, you don't get the chance to miss your shots. Tifu is a player who trains day and night. He almost always plays Kovacs and has got a shot like no other. It just proves practice really does make perfect. Although Clix is low on health, he still has his winning ticket, his ability to capitalize on his enemy's mistakes. At this point, the fight can go either way. As Tifu goes for a retake, Clix is quick to block his attempt. Clix needs to find a way to hit Tifu without taking damage, so he tries a variety of edits to toy with Tifu. Clix finds a weak spot. At the same time, Tifu makes a huge mistake, which costs him the game. He makes a random side jump, and Clix is quick to finish him off. So what exactly did we witness there? First, Clix doesn't have a super aggressive playstyle against Tifu. He most likely knows Tifu will take advantage of his mistakes, whereas a lesser player won't. Clix can still get away with errors while fighting enemies of lesser experience. Second, although Clix was low on health, he still looked for ample opportunities to capitalize on Tifu's errors. He maintained composure and confidence in order not to give off a vibe that he is panicked. Good players can usually tell when a player is scared, and they instantly take advantage of this. So next time you're on low health, don't let the enemies know. Now, before we end the video, let's watch a quick clip of the creative goat Sway versus Clix. We saw how Clix is able to keep height in most of his fights. This isn't the case versus Sway. Check out this clip of Sway dominating Clix. Instead of finishing school? Idiot? Like, what? What do you mean, idiot? Did that hit? No, I missed. What? Flex, calm what? down. Like, calm down, Flex. Where were you? 
Wait, let me win. I gotta have the call out, please. Wait, just let me win. So let us know what you guys think of this video. Is Clicks the most efficient creative warrior or is he just another hyped up player? He does have five qualifications under his belt, so there's no way he can be called overrated. But let us know your thoughts below and we will see you guys next time.